Point is under a state of emergency as high water levels on Lake Ontario again threaten the village and its neighboring lakeside communities. While the governor sues the International Joint Commission, the state is taking the problem into its own hands. News Channel Line's Andrew Donovan with the governor shows us why heavy machinery is now being brought in. How you hold up here in the cold? I'm used to it. You're used to it. <laughs> Brian Wallace is one of the few people roaming Sandy Island Beach this time of year. It's like an overgrown sandbox. <laughs> Using more than a pail and shovel, Wallace and his team are removing thousands of tons of sand pushed in by years of high water. We started this project, the channel was only a foot and a half deep. You know, we've now got it to six to eight feet. A boat can't get through a foot and a half. I don't know especially the large ones that they like to bring in here. Once the sand is scooped out of the channel, it's dumped into this truck, driven down the shoreline, and redistributed on the beach. Creating a shoreline barrier that is higher than before that will be a buffer against the higher, uh, higher level of the lake. If we don't restore that dune, then basically that shoreline way over there, that's going to be the new lakefront, and it's going to wipe it out. This is one of 20 Lake Ontario sites the state will dredge out to help fight against floods that the governor considers a new reality. Putting pressure on the IJC, you know, I've called, I've yelled, I've been as charming as I can be. We have a lawsuit going. Uh, none of it has helped. So uh, we've taken our, our destiny into our own hands. Uh, there's probably like a dozen marinas in there, campgrounds, and there's probably thousands of boats that need to get in and out. That's that's all we have here is boating and snowmobiles. That's it. His winter on the beach will benefit everyone else's summers for years to come. At Sandy Pond, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Now, Mexico Point State Park in Oswego County was the first dredging project to be completed. It took four weeks to stabilize 435 feet of shoreline with stone.